Well, maybe a story like this was almost inevitable given all we heard about the chaos on this Black Friday. After her early morning shift Friday at a Target down in Florida, a woman fell asleep behind the wheel as she was driving home and her car ended up in a canal. Now, what came next was a dramatic call to 911. As WPBF's Terry Barker reports now from South Florida. The tire tracks into the deep and murky canal can only hint at the terror Tiffany Joyce felt when she drove her car into the canal on her way to Pahokee. Within minutes, the car was sinking, and a panicked Tiffany called 911. 911, what's your emergency? I, I, I'm in the water. I'm floating in the water. Where at? Tiffany was so frightened she couldn't say exactly where she was, but she did know time was running out. <laughs> Are you in the car? I'm in the car. Okay, is there any way you can get out? No, I'm flooding in the middle of the water. How deep it is. She had just went into the canal uh, off of Buck City Road. Uh, she said the car was sinking. She, she couldn't swim. Meantime, other drivers were also calling 911 to describe the emergency they were helpless to stop. Is it floating or is it going down? No, it's going down. It's here to the, cut the motor part going down. 911 operators had deputies on the way, but the water was rising quickly up to Tiffany's waist. You can hear her panic screams. <laughs> right around then, Deputy Frank Mayo arrived. There, I can see the car in the canal and the lady trying to hold on to the back end of it. She'd gotten herself out of the car, but couldn't swim a lick. I just took my gun belt off, dropped it on the ground, and ran over to the canal and jumped in it and swam out to where she was. Tiffany panicked, got on top of Deputy Mayo, and then both went under. Me and I came back to the surface and she didn't. I had to kind of go back down and feel around for her again to snatch her back to the surface. Other deputies tossed in the line and pulled both to safety, ending in minutes what probably seemed like the longest emergency in Tiffany Joyce's life. Wow, lucky lady. And her, the whole ordeal before she was rescued lasted about six minutes. And so when you're fearing for your life, that is and that's that's a long, a long amount of time. In the water for someone that doesn't know how to swim. And it's, it's remarkable that that's sort of one of the things that happens on Black Friday. You have people working all night and they're exhausted. And they're tired. I mean, it's understandable, too. And many drivers actually in South Florida, there are a lot of canals in that part of the country. So they actually, a lot of those folks carry around special tools in their car to kind of puncture the glass so they can get, get out of a submerged car. So it's, it's fairly common, kind of scary. It's unbelievable, but so scary that she didn't know how to swim. Oh, man, take those lessons. Yes, swimming, I did. Swimming, typing, I took and driving. As an Three adult. things you got to know. That's right.